All right, let's talk about how nutrition affects your brain. What's up? I'm Greg and you are watching Greg TV. In today's episode, I want to share two articles that I recently read and actually use them in podcast episodes. So uh, you, know, you can check that out. Two articles that I recently read that talk about nutrition and the brain, how your food affects the way you think, the way you feel, and all the other complicated things that happen up here. So first article is called Nourish Your Noggin. It was published on brainline.org and the author, Tina Sullivan, is a certified integrative health and nutrition coach. In this article, she talks a bit about essentially what's going on, the different types of food that you eat and how it affects all the things that happen up here from the chemicals, how the food relates back to your body and how the food turns into muscles and organs and blood and how that then affects the quality of your thoughts and your mind and your ability to function as a human being. It's a fantastic article and I used it in an episode on my podcast, Tiny Leaps, Big Changes, where we're talking about how food and nutrition affects the way that you think. So I'm gonna link that up in the description. I highly recommend you check it out. It's a slightly longer article, but it is a great read. It helps you really understand how what you put into your body can affect everything else from your stress levels to your happiness, to your thoughts, to food is fuel, right? Food is fuel. And in this case, that fuel is being used to power everything else. So if we make not so great choices with that food, then we're not going to have so great fuel and that fuel affects everything else. So check out the article, highly recommend it. Article number two, how nutrition affects your brain. It's published on Quick and Dirty Tips. And I like this article because it answers a lot of questions. It really dives into a lot of things that you and I may not know. So for example, it answers the question, how does food affect brain function? How does that nutrition affect our ability to function within the brain and how the brain fires off and communicates with each other and all the cool things that goes on to allow us to function. Then it goes into the question of how do we think better as a result of the food that we eat? How does the food that we eat affect our thoughts? And then it dives into a really, really strange question. Can the food you eat make you smarter? And so, Highly recommend you check that article out. It's going to give you a lot of really interesting insight and it's actually based on a book. So you might just be inspired to pick up the book as well. So that's it. You've been watching Greg TV. This is episode four and I'll see you tomorrow for the next episode.